I've had a few questions about lighting for overwintering my plants, so I thought I'd just bring this outside where we have a little room. It's kind of cramped in there where I have it. So I thought I'd show you just exactly what I use. And before I forget, it's important for me to let you know that this doesn't work well at all for seedlings or growing seedlings or starting plants. It just doesn't have enough light. But it works really well for established plants and keeping them going over the winter. I've brought banana tree inside and kept it going all winter as well as pepper plants and a variety of other things. But it's just a PVC stand that I made myself. It's a four foot shop light with T12 bulbs that are made for plants and aquariums. They work for the established plants but not the seedlings. I think I've got yes yeah, one inch PVC pipe it's just two elbows, two T's, uh, four end caps, and I don't remember the exact dimensions of the upright part or the cross part or the legs, but I'll put those down in the description box uh, so you can check that out if you're interested in making a stand. And one thing that I do that makes it easier for storage is I did not glue this upright piece and that allows me to take it all apart at the end of the year. The only problem with that is that if you lift up on it your bottom might fall off or the whole upright piece might fall out of this elbow. But uh, as long as you remember that this part isn't glued you can slide it along the floor or move it and have somebody help you just in case some of it falls apart but uh, I find it a lot more convenient for storage and rather than having to store this big contraption it breaks down into several pieces and uh, all I have uh, supporting the light up here is a couple of little eye bolts I just drilled a hole through the PVC pipe real, real simple to do just have a chain. You can adjust the height of your light with a longer, shorter chain, or what you can also do is just use a shorter piece of PVC pipe or a longer piece, whatever you need. Generally, in most home improvement stores, your PVC pipe will come in five foot pieces and 10 foot pieces, or that's the way it is where I got these. And it's pretty easy to cut if you got a PVC cutter. Um, you can also use a hacksaw. I've used that before, but I'll just get my PVC cutter out and I'll show you how easy it is to cut a piece. But uh, this is what I use to overwinter my plants and works pretty well for me. In the spring when I break it down to store it, this is what it's going to look like. It'll be a lot easier to store this way. You can prop it up in the corner of the garage or put it on a shelf, whatever. Just takes up a lot less room. And it's been working pretty good for me for several years now. I'll just show you on a piece of one inch PVC here. If you use a cutter that's made for cutting PVC, it's a lot easier than using a hacksaw and it makes a lot cleaner cut. You just it just kind of ratchets closed. That's how easy it is. And one thing when I first got these it took me a while to figure out how to open the thing up once I had it closed because because uh, it ratchets closed and then I started pushing on different thing trying to pull that out and it just didn't come out but it's simple as pulling the handles apart and that opens it up but that's all there is to cutting it it's real easy stuff to work with real easy to glue and as I mentioned I don't on mine personally uh, I don't um, 
glue the upright part but uh, that's up to you however you want to do yours if you decide to build one I'm not saying build one or not build one I'm just showing you how I do mine if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe we'll see you next time